And we're back with more of Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 4. Here we're taking on World 6, right before the castle. This is a pretty odd world. Uh, what you have is a lot of straight line stuff to deal with. And um, this is an odd world because there's very little vertical um, climbing. I mean, there's not a lot of climbing. There are actually very few pipes here, too. And um, the biggest thing is a lot of it's just going left to right and avoiding foghorn leghorns. And um, surprisingly, this place is actually very easy to get killed in. Because, um, once again, you're limited three hits, which is... Uh, and also, the fact is, it's actually pretty tough to elude the foghorn leghorns, and it's really easy to get surprised by them, like that. So mainly what you have to do is, uh, just make sure you give them the slip using the limited vertical space that you're allowed to, because it is pretty easy to get caught with either between one foghorn leghorn and the other, or a, uh, I guess a straight line where you can't really go up or down a hill, or up or down anything else. I have no idea what I was doing there, but then again, this was recorded a while ago, and I had a lot of things to do that day. For those blocks, you do need the pickaxe to get across, and um, Yosemite Sam shoots you, as usual, and uh, the dog. It just goes left to right, he doesn't really do much else. I don't really think I'd make any use of that dog, or I have no idea what I do. Unfortunately, this game is pretty generous with one- or not this game, but this world is pretty generous with one-ups. And, um, getting the keys in this place is actually very simple. The, uh, tough part is just gonna be having to outrun all the enemies, because this one doesn't put as much emphasis on strategy as it does in just outrunning everybody you see. You do have, uh, certain weapons to work with. I mean, of course, you have the same weapons from before, and, uh, the way you need to use these is either set traps, and, um, just make sure you beat the Foghorn Leghorns into going after you, because they are gonna be your biggest problem in this stage. The, uh, Yosemite Sams you can manage, and, uh, the dogs really aren't a problem, unless you, um, get trapped between a dog and a Foghorn Leghorn. But when in doubt, you do have to take out the Foghorn Leghorns first. That's just the important thing with this level. And, um... The thing with this level is that it is pretty easy to get... Or to get lost... Or it's not easy to get lost. But it actually is kind of easy to get yourself killed, and... That's kind of a different kind of difficulty that we are faced with, as opposed to the other levels where... Because they were so much bigger, it was actually harder to, like, use the terrain to your advantage, and it was harder to get the keys. So I'm not really sure which, uh, brand of difficulty I like more. The one that's, uh, easy to get killed, or the one that's actually hard to beat the level. I'm not really sure which one's better. I don't know, I guess I like hard to beat the level better, just because, or that kind of challenge more. Because sometimes it can be like whenever you get killed in an easy to get killed level, you feel like you get cheated out of it. Whereas in the hard to actually beat the level type of difficulty, you actually feel accomplished when you actually beat the level. And uh, this should be where the last key is. Yeah, the keys um, are pretty easy to find in this first one. And in, uh, World 6, there are only three levels, so this will be another short one. And, um... I think from, uh, here on out, I'm gonna have, uh, three level videos, because, uh... Once we get to the castle, all these sections in the castle are going to have six levels in them. So I'm just gonna go three and three. I think that would make the most sense. There really aren't any other gimmicks in this world, other than just the low terrain. Which is kind of odd, considering that there's a big-ass hill in the background. Not really sure how that works. Anyway, this is another level where it is pretty easy to, uh, get hit a lot. Thanks to, uh, coyotes chasing you. And there's a complete lack of weapons here. But, uh, there are a lot of one carrots, and it is actually pretty easy to get invincibility. So at least you got that going for you in case you get in trouble. And, uh, just like before, whenever you get invincibility, you get your health restored, so... That's always something to keep track 
or to keep track of. And right now they are really uh, turning up the number of just one carrots compared to uh, our one carrot and one fake one. Whenever you go into the tr uh, the uh, room with two treasure boxes. And uh, getting carrots in this stage is actually kind of easy. It's just using them at the right time that's actually not going to be so easy. And you do need the pickaxe to uh, clear most of the important stuff. I think really all I'm doing is just quickly going through all the doors. Because it is actually really easy to not miss... St I mean, it's pretty easy to get to all the doors. Uh, like I said before, the only tough part is when you end up getting yourself trapped between enemies. And uh, right here I might be trapped. Let's see where this one goes. I think right here is when I actually first found out that I can run between the uh, vulture whenever he's stopped, or whenever he's not flying, that you can go through him and he don't get hurt. That was probably the first time I found that out. And, um... Let's see, what else? I don't know, there really isn't much else to say about this level. But I think that, uh... This was actually kind of an odd way to, uh... Get you into... I guess the swing of things before the castle. I mean, when you think back to World 5 and World 4, you had these much bigger levels, you had these, uh... assorted gimmicks that... Um, you had to adapt to, you had to learn, you had to adapt to. And they, uh, did a good job of challenging you by expanding on those things. Um, I don't know, this world just doesn't do that compared to those worlds, or those other worlds. I mean, if you guys have any thoughts, uh, feel free to post comments as usual. But, uh, yeah, I think that this was a really odd way to go into the castle. And frankly, since there were six worlds before the castle, they could have easily chopped it into three and... Honestly, I wouldn't have cared one bit one way or the other. But then again, um, I guess they did want to do something new, as opposed to just having a bunch of castle levels. Which, I mean, I don't really have a problem with them doing that, because... This is the fourth game, so you have to at least keep something, or do something different. I mean, you can't really have the same thing going on over and over again. I mean, at least when Mega Man keeps the same core gameplay. Or they do a good job of that because they keep the same core gameplay, but they just introduce different robot masters, different levels, and... You know, different... I guess, gimmicks. Well, I mean, just different gimmicks across levels. And it does a good job of challenging players in that way, too. And I feel that this game actually did do that pretty well. Just, uh... I don't know, if it was me, I probably would have gone without this world. Just because it feels really out of place compared to, uh... Worlds 4 and 5. And, um... And you can actually, uh, just break some rocks with those hammers. Just like before. I mean, it's not like there are any cracked blocks, they're just big rocks that you have to shatter with them. So, let's see, I'm up to six keys now. And I think what I'm gonna have to do is, uh, start backtracking- or actually, wait, I think that's level three where I have to start backtracking to get to the keys. But I think, uh, getting to those areas is actually pretty easy. But the hard part in this part is gonna be when, uh, two Foghorn Leghorns show up, and then, uh, I'll tell you, they should be showing up soon. Yeah, because it's pretty easy to get trapped between the two Foghorn Leghorns, and also the, uh, trampoline controls are kinda odd. So, that is one thing that can get you trapped. And I guess that's the reason they gave you invincibility here. Just so, uh, or just in case you end up getting yourself trapped between Foghorn Leghorns. Or... No, wait, that was level 3. Never mind then, I'm wrong again. Yeah, I recorded this like a few weeks, I recorded this like back during Christmas, so... Still got a long ways to go with, uh, this game. So that's just me, uh, backtracking all the way. It was a pretty long trek, not gonna lie. 
But either way, all I had to do is just to uh, get to the exit here. Which is actually going to be a pretty easy thing to do now that Yosemite Sam's turned around. And now for the last level of this world. Which is a really another really odd level because, uh... There isn't a lot of climbing to do, but there is a lot of backtracking. And the, uh... One thing that does make this stage particularly annoying is the fact that there's a few keys being blocked off by a block that you need a hammer to break through. The problem is the hammer is not going to show up for a pretty long time, so that's just going to lead to one big backtrack that I really could have gone without. But uh, this first part is actually pretty easy because uh, it just starts off pretty basic like every other stage in this world. And um, what you're doing is just trying to get to or just going through a straight line as usual. Now this part it is pretty easy to uh, get trapped between foghorn and leghorns because the uh, timing on these things on these trampolines is actually pretty tricky to get down. And um, it is pretty easy to uh, go up one level more than you wanted to, and it's even easier to get trapped between that rock and a foghorn leghorn. Here I'm just trying to figure out where the first one went. Because there was another one on my tail. So I gotta do this the old-fashioned way, just to evade them. And, uh... And just had to pull out some old tricks from the uh, previous games in the series. Which, I mean, the same tricks that you learned from Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 1 still apply to this game. It's just a matter of, um... I mean, all the basic tricks still apply. It's really just a matter of just knowing who you're up against and knowing just how to get the best of them. And right there I almost get caught off guard by another Foghorn Leghorn. This is another stage where it is really easy to die because you can uh, get trapped between a bunch of Foghorn Leghorns and like that. And this is not fun. So let's just dispose of them. And right here I really should have gotten hit but I end up getting lucky. Yeah, I think what the problem was, was, uh, that's the, uh, block I was talking about that you need the hammer to get through. So, um, that is one play area where I really ran into trouble, but fortunately I ended up bailing myself out with weapons. So, um, really all there is to do now is just, uh, since I eliminated most of the enemies, is to just get through everything. And I think there should be a Yosemite Sam in here somewhere. And right when I say I eliminated most of the enemies, another Foghorn Leghorn shows up. I think there are about like five or six of them in this level. And, um... That is one thing that does make this stage kind of tough, is that... It is pretty easy to, uh... Just get hit too many times and... End up dying that way. I mean, I don't really find this level particularly hard, it's just pretty easy to die, if that makes any sense. That's, I think AVGN said that too about a certain game. Like, it's not that hard, it's just easy to die. Not really sure if those are one and the same, though. Because if you have a, uh... Or I might have, uh... D earlier in this video divided them into... Hard to beat the level compared to easy to die. And as I've said before, I like the uh, hard to beat the level better. But either way, uh, all I gotta do here is just go after some more keys, and I gotta use the mushroom trampolines to my advantage. That's, I think, what I'm trying to do is get the slip on him, or on Foghorn Leghorn. And um, I think I was trying to push the rock into him, but I uh, did not get up there fast enough, so unfortunately I couldn't do that. But instead, what I have to do is, uh, just go through everything here. Let's see, this is key 7. I think I'm gonna get the hammer soon. And it is not here. Instead, we get a, uh, one rig treasure chest and a 1-up. Fortunately, uh, this world is pretty easy with 1-ups. Or, it's pretty generous with 1-ups compared to a lot of the other ones. And fortunately, Foghorn Leghorn fell for that, so I can end up using the rock on him. So at least that made things a lot easier. And right here is where I get the hammer. 
There is gonna be a jump cut here. And that's because I needed to uh, backtrack all the way to the uh, middle of the level in order to get this last key. So I think there might be a couple other things around here. Not really sure what I was doing with some of these levels. Even though that's a really odd place to have a health power-up. Even though I probably should have just shot that vulture, but eh, what are you gonna do? I think I was saving it for Yosemite Sam. But, these are really odd places for those kind of power-ups. But with that, we are done with the final stage in World 6. And we are up to the castle.